Hey everybody, it's Texas Stroker here, Lance's Performance Shadow on the Star It is Friday night, July 2nd. That's right, this is a fresh, fresh cut. You're gonna see this here in a few hours. Current time is 8.53 p.m. I'm gonna try to go through this fast, and you're probably here for the thumbnail, assuming I do what I think I'm gonna do. So uh, stay tuned, promise it'll be worth your wait. As always, before I get going, I have timestamps. Uh, if there's only one thing you care about, which is probably what the thumbnail is, you can skip ahead to that. Similarly, if you just want to see what the video was about, use the timestamps. Uh, that's, that's why I put them there. So, it is the 4th of July weekend, or as I still call it, Independence Day. But, what we're going to do is attempt to move through this as quick as I can. I'm going to combine what the thumbnail was uh, with what we're actually going to attempt to cover in the video. So, uh, getting started here, KC Tool, there will be a 4th of July sale. Uh, it's going to be very similar to what they've had in the past, if that gives you any inclination. If you're super curious, you can scroll back in time, you know, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, and uh, probably get a good feel for what's going on. They've also, I believe, a night or two ago, if you saw Colin dancing around, they hit the 100,000 follower mark. If you recall from when we did the Is That Ratchet giveaway, that was the big milestone for them, and they warned us. They said it's going to be awesome, it's going to be huge, it's going to be this massive giveaway. I don't know what it is, uh, but I do know that it's going to be revealed, I believe, this coming week. So basically think of it this way, you got the 4th of July sale to take advantage of, and then there's some massive, super awesome, fantastic giveaway to look forward to as well. So, moving on from that, the seasonal uh, that is a deal, you know, we had the screwdriver bouquets, the bundles, different brands, right? I tried to get that tool haul kind of front-loaded for you so I could cover the t seasonal before it expired on June 30th. Uh, one of my questions was, you know, like, hey, is this like just a one-off deal for spring 2021 or is it going to continue? And if you frequent the site like I do, you already know the answer, and that is it continued. Currently, the seasonal features a lot of NWS stuff, so if you've kind of been on the fence, or you've always seen the super cool handles and wanted to try them, this is your time to strike. There's some pretty good buys there. Essentially, I guess, think of the seasonal as the tool of the day, but for like a longer window. You know, so like if you see something during your lunch break, you're like, man, I gotta get that and uh, you get home and you totally forget about it and then you think of it the next morning and you're like oh no i missed it this kind of gives you a little bit more leeway if you will uh so that is cool viha moving on to viha we've got kind of a a cool thing that i'm going to take advantage of and uh if i throw down here we got their kind of pretty new i'd say last year 2019 somewhere in there rainbow hex keys and then we've got not the ergo stars we just got regular ones and what I did, if you recall way back in the day, I realized, hey, those Ergo Star holders are pretty cool. And I put their standard hex keys in them. And if you're unfamiliar with what the Ergo Star does, it does that. All right? Makes it super easy to get your hex keys out. Typically, like if we came in here and we needed, for whatever reason, a 330 seconds, I've got to fold all these over and slide that thing out. Fold some of these out so we can get in there and push that out, right? Ergo Star takes care of that. The real selling point of Ergo Star, though, <clears throat> is quite simply put, it has a holding function. And I'd always kind of like, yeah, well, you know, that'd be nice, but I don't really need I ran into a situation this past weekend where I needed it. Would have been super, super nice. <laughs> and uh, lo and behold, they did a teaser, and uh, I was like, man, that's the Ergo Star set with holding function. And sure enough, that is Viha's new big deal. There's essentially like four items. Uh, they do theirs now sort of, I think, like quarterly, so three month time span here. But essentially you're going to have the Ergo Star Metric, the Ergo Star SAE, Fractional, whatever you want to call it. Just like these holders would be, but obviously, you know, holding function. Uh, they are not black keys, nor are they rainbow. They're just like traditional, you know, metal finish, if you will. And then I believe they have the pocket fold-out ones, you know, like we always have the lathes at work. And so I think those also have the holding function. Don't hold me to that. We're going to cover all of that in much greater detail. Speaking of details and sales, as we've talked about here so far, I will probably be making a What's New in German Tools video, possibly for next week. Let me know how soon you want to see it. Uh, that's nothing fancy. It's kind of just, you know, the in front of a computer screen showing you things because it works better that way because I don't have them sort of a situation right 
uh, which people seem to like those videos. I'm not quite sure why. Like, and I'm not, not just talking about this channel, just in general. Uh, flipping through a catalog or flipping through a website or something, and uh, people seem to really like eat that stuff up. So, you know, uh, super simple uh, video to make, so I don't mind doing it. Uh, but there's not like a ton of stuff to talk about, but there's some pretty cool stuff that we should probably cover here sooner rather than later. So, I will try to do that. Now, in terms of our channel here, Lone Star Mopars, uh, we are getting very close to 5,000 subscribers. I honestly, I've said this for quite some time, I genuinely don't remember what I said, and <laughs> it was either at 5,000 or 10,000. It might have been 10,000, I honestly don't know, and then I changed it to five. I, I legitimately couldn't tell you what I said. Uh, I should be the best source on what I say, but you know, uh, it's been a busy week, so. Uh, at 5K or 10K, I was going to do something where I'd said, you know, like I would buy from Snap-on and I uh, wanted feedback from people, you know, like on what they would like to see me bring in, get my impressions of, you know, in comparison with things I've brought in from, say, German tool manufacturers, right? Uh, and of course, you know, I can't do that instantaneously. Bring it in, unbox it, initial impression, yes. Bench impression, sure, <laughs> you know. But in terms of like, is this better than Kinipex? Is this better than VHOV? Whatever uh, you want to know in that regard, like that takes time. You would be an idiot to sit here and bench test something and say that it's worse, just the same as you would be to get it bench tested and say it's the best. You kind of have to put it into a real world situation uh, to get a feel for it. Now, ergonomically, personal preference, aesthetic, those things, sure. Uh, but in terms of real world performance, which what I ultimately believe matters the most, kind of have to give that some time so what i want to know from you snap-on or matco okay i'm not gonna lie initially i was, was gonna be snap-on i've wanted to bring in their screwdriver so that's a given we will be getting a phillips number two from snap-on possibly in multiple handle styles because hey we've gone this far we just as well keep going right <laughs> and, uh, so past that you tell me, what is your favorite? What is something that you wanted to see? What is something that you go and, you know, if you rub elbows, you know, with another shop or your buddies or your bench raising? Is it a flex head 3H ratchet? Is it a half inch? Is it something, you know, older? Is it a pair of pliers? I know way back in the day, Yoda Doug was always telling me to get the talon grips. That'll probably be something that comes in with the number two Phillips. I liked the look and the design of them. Plus, not gonna lie, primary reason they're cross hatched, and I'm a sucker for cross hatching. So, uh, you tell me though, again, um, yeah, there that stuff's very, very expensive. You gotta realize, even though we've brought in a lot of German stuff, like I'm thrifty, like it's done on sales, super discounts, closeout clearance, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so, that's still a uh, jagged little pill to swallow there. Some of the prices on their items at Snap On. Now, the other thing I'm gonna throw at you is Matco. Uh, Matco, geez, I don't even know, was it last year? Somewhere in that time frame? Uh, they released one of their ratchets with a blue and black handle. Blue and black is a fantastic color scheme, as you should know if you've been around the channel for any length of time, right? Uh, I really want to bring one of those in to try, and uh, I would be fine doing that at the 5,000 mark, you know, getting the cool ratchet uh, that I want to try and hope doesn't suck. Possibly some of their other items. Again, give me your suggestions. This can be based on you've bought this, you've used it for six years, you love it. It can be something that you got two weeks ago off the truck and you haven't had issues with. It can be something that you've looked at at the truck, you know, every time you're on, but you haven't justified it because you have something else that does that job or it's too expensive. Whatever, just throw ideas at me and preferably ones that you actually like, you know, don't give me junk. <laughs> and, uh, I would, I'm fine really either doing it either way. You know, if we do Matco now, I do snap on at 10K. Really, that probably makes more sense, and that may have been what I said initially. I don't know. But that is the plan all along. You know, it was like bring in other screwdrivers, and I've had Mac for a long time. I've never done anything with them because they were reserved for testing. Uh, but those were like way back in the day. So uh, the proto handled ones, they are sitting there waiting. Uh, so throw some ideas at me on that front. The Ram Revival, we're progressing quite nicely. There is a significant update uh, that you probably won't see on YouTube for a couple of weeks, but it's it's there. 
I've got some stuff I still need to do that's really, really difficult, and I need like a three foot pry bar. So I'm uh, currently in the works on that. I will also add that I've gotten like a lot of, you know, like negative hate stuff for the Hercules stuff from Harbor Freight. You gotta remember, I have Rigid. I like Rigid, aside from their blower. That was a piece of junk that was dead on arrival. Um, why did I pick Rigid? I have a lot of experience with Milwaukee's corded stuff at work. Same with DeWalt corded stuff. So for cordless, I went rigid again. You should know, with screwdrivers, I'm not afraid to sample what's out there, right? Plus, orange and black is also a great color scheme. So, uh, rigid is what I picked. They do not make, I cannot stress this enough, they do not make, at this point in time, a cordless ratchet, okay? I was sick of doing lag screws on motors that come in. I needed a cordless ratchet and I decided I was going to try Hercules from Harbor Freight. I've had that stuff for quite a bit longer than when the videos came out. I've had zero issues yet. They could suck, they could break down currently. I don't really have anything bad to say. I will say I have a blower. I don't remember if I recorded that or not, but I love that thing. It actually worked, unlike my rigid one. It's a small compact one, that's all they offer. The only negative I can say is that thing eats batteries. Now, that said, the rigid one may very well have two, but it would never run, so I can't tell you. But I get the initial, like, ooh, you know, electronics from Harbor Freight don't do it. I'm kind of the same way, but I'm willing to try it. Um, I like the color scheme on the Hercules. It's, you know, it really has not been out long enough for people to say yay or nay if it's great or terrible. And honestly, there's just not that many first impressions or reviews of the stuff so uh, that kind of played a hand in it too uh, but right now so far so good it's not used on the daily or anything like that but it's been good to me and it's made the lag screws much less of a pain which is exactly what i was after moving on from that uh, we'll eventually progress from the ram revival that's another video for another day um that's pretty much that so 12 minute mark I made you wait long enough and again don't complain i told you I told you to use the timestamps if this is all you came here for. So, uh, actually, you know what? We're going to delay this a little bit more, but you'll see why. So, right here, Viha, soft finish, beautiful, classic, red, black, white, Viha, right? So, past that, uh, my number two micro is currently in the truck. So, I'll go with this guy. It's basically closest handle size. Micro finish. You got soft finish. You got micro finish. The plum, I have to say, it grows on me. I also bought quite a few micros to use as like my daily set here in the shop, not at work, but here at home, if you will, uh, which I'm out here every day, if at all possible, mind you. Uh, they've really, really grown on me. I like them. Um, that's all I'm going to say about that. But recently. I brought in some other drivers. I haven't uh, released the videos on this because I'm sort of dropping this as a bombshell. And this is not the bombshell, this is just sort of like the first wave, right? So this right here, if you take a look, as you should know with VR drivers, they do some cool stuff. They've got Made in Germany, if you wonder why that's there, it fits perfectly in their stand, uh, which I have several of. <laughs> that's one of the perks of buying from VHA. That right there, where you see that 18, uh, that is the year of manufacture, okay? So, with this one, if you notice anything different as I pan back out, it does not have the pH 2, you know, by 100 millimeter with the part number start, but you flip it over and it has that here. Same stuff there, but when you flip this one over, you've got the barcode. This one has a barcode, a little extra, and that. So, for I guess a cleaner front side appearance, they've moved that to the back. But the biggest thing, and this is, I checked, I shot Colin an email as soon as these came in last week, and I was like, dude, what's going on? Uh, these are red now, and uh, he was like, well, you know, let me check. And uh, the guys in the warehouse, the KC Tool, said something has happened real recently. And if you look at the back of this handle, I don't think I have to zoom in. See that 21? That means this is a super fresh screwdriver, right? Post-COVID apocalyptic screwdriver. 2018, 2019, 2020, back 2021, they've gone to red. Now, where you've seen this, if you think, well, that looks familiar, you know, was that thing ancient? If you've picked up one of their 6-in-1 or 11-in-1 drivers, it would have the red. Otherwise, anything like 2020 and back 
would have had white like that. So very minor, but it's not like some announced change. It's nothing, you know, like real big promoted branding type of a thing. If for whatever reason you didn't like the white or you, for whatever reason you love the red on black, if you're like a Chicago Bulls super fan and you want a screwdriver that matches your team, there, there you go. Uh, so that's something I needed to cover. And then again, assuming I make this the thumbnail, which I probably will, what this video is probably going to be titled, plus channel update stuff, is The Ratchet Viha Should Make. And it's right here. That's right. This little gym right here is uh, sort of a slightly modified VHA drive ratchet. <laughs> and, uh, I actually have not even edited the video where we opened this, uh, so you'll be seeing that in the future. Won't tell you what was with it, so that way it's kind of exciting for you, hopefully. But the real change right here is not anything to do with the 72 tooth mechanism selector. We've done nothing there, but what we've done is this. And uh, if you think, oh, that's just trickery, you know, he's just grafted these two together in Photoshop or some editing program. Nope, this was me out here doing things in the shop, making this a reality. <laughs> and, uh, I have to say I love it. Uh, I have not used it yet. I want to be totally upfront with you. Why have I not used it yet? Because I didn't want to, like, get it dirty and make it look bad uh, before this video. After this, as of Saturday, tomorrow, July 3rd, this is going to be used, and I don't care what happens to it. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's also why I have gloves on. It's because my hands are filthy. This was a day at work where if I shook my head or turned it quickly to the door, I would probably shower dust down onto the camera into this mat. Uh, I'm filthy. I'm absolutely filthy. Uh, it's not 100 degrees here anymore. It's been like in the 70s and 80s, but hellaciously humid. Uh, my jeans basically stick to me as I'm in a shop away from fans and there's no air conditioning. <laughs> and, uh, uh, I, when I say I'm dirty, like I'm really dirty. I tried to clean my arms uh, before making this video. It's that type of a day and that's honestly why the gloves are on. I don't want to get anises or anything, you know, gunked up on here. This was just an early prototype of this. I wanted to try it, see if it was possible. I didn't know if I could get the shaft out, I didn't, which, by the way, boom, there's your shaft proof in the pudding. Very cool, by the way. If you want to see, like, a standalone video on that, I've, like, recorded bits and pieces. I don't know if it's competent or not. I haven't looked at the footage. I can always make, like, a better video kind of walking you through the steps. But this is so good. This is so, so good. So I've taken one of my favorite handle styles. In my opinion, I think the soft finish might look better aesthetically. But in terms of me using this all the time, I wanted to go micro finish. Uh, so if you prefer the plum look over red and black, there you go. <laughs> it's, uh, it's really in there. I mean, and it is in there. It's not going anywhere. I can do whatever I want to. I've made sure of that. It was a process. Again, trial and error. It is not perfect. There's some gashes here. As soon as this came in, after I got over the shock of like, what have they done <laughs> with that one? I was like, okay, can I get the shafts out of these? And uh, that's honestly what I was going to do here as well. Uh, but then since it came in red, I was like, man, I kind of need to preserve that. It's like a piece of history right now. And no one knows about that except crazy people like myself that, you know, get an obscene number of screwdrivers for some reason. So sharing the knowledge is what I do. <laughs> <laughs> so, whether uh, wanted or not is up to you but like an idiot I was like let's get started and uh, you know like I said I didn't know it was gonna go like this good I figured it would be like a terrible learning experience and it actually went well aside from this if I would have just like taken another five seconds and protected this when I started like haha you know mad scientist you know prying away trying to get the shaft out I would not have torn this up this looked terrible I actually used the Viha razor scraper to kind of clean it up, get some of that like white. You know, if you bash plastic, it kind of turns white, uh, especially kind of depending on, you know, the base plastic. But cut a lot of that off. That is honestly right there a gash. Uh, same thing here on the Made in Germany. I know exactly how to prevent that. Future versions, we will do just that. But this thing is awesome. I had it positioned several, obviously it's much easier to get it just started than it is to get it all the way where we have it. I do not want it swallowing the entire handle for aesthetic and balance reasons. I wanted some of the, you know, main handle to still be in shape. And I wanted, as I was making this, I said, yeah, if I could get that to like half to three quarters of an inch, I think it'd be perfect. That's exactly where we're at. It's like five eighths of an inch exposed there. 
that means there's a lot of handle down in here this is again all kind of done by hand i thought i was gonna like have to take this to work and go to the lathe and see what i could do uh, i wasn't sure how i'd like chuck things up <laughs> you know that like totally ruining the finish on something but i was able to do it here at the house and uh, i gotta say you get past that which granted if this is like your go-to ratchet you're gonna beat it up anyway just having this end on a ratchet is just oh it's nice i'm telling you <laughs> so uh would you like to see more of these i'm not gonna like go into tons of details the main thing i wanted you to see this no i have it twofold number one catches your eye lets you know about fourth of july sale uh, the seasonal the big giveaway the viha you know uh big deal all that stuff i get your opinions on snap on and matco you're rewarded with something i think is cool now is this the world's best ratchet yeah probably not but it is a viha ratchet and it's a viha handle so there you go i also seriously debated releasing this next wednesday july 7th 7 7 you know like kind of a symbolic lucky day you know viha wednesday as well and I thought, you know what, let's just do it now. It's Independence Day, we got fireworks, and boom. This is my version of fireworks right here. <laughs> so, I wish uh, you could all like drop by and just like experience this in hand. Uh, it's, it's good, it's really good. I'm very, very pleased with that, especially for a first attempt. You know, like aside from me being an idiot and rushing in, this would have been like done, you know, like perfect. <laughs> And so uh, the good news is now I can use this, see what I think of the ratchet, see what I think of having that handle on like long term and real world application. And then we can make more of them. So that's uh, what I plan to do. But uh, yeah, that is it, man. That's about all I got for you. I don't sound like it, but I'm absolutely drained. It's been like uh, four, yeah, four 15 hour days or so at work. And uh, like I said, it's a, it's a wonder I'm talking this good right now. If I shower, uh, things are going to get bad. won't be able to talk. So just uh, super, super. You know that uh, kid in the Charlie Brown peanut comics, right? Always has like the dust cloud around him. Linus, I think. Yeah, it's basically that's how I feel like when I walk to and from places. I just feel like there's like you know, rust and crud falling off of me. So uh, needless to say, I'm going to shower. I'm probably actually going to go to bed early, which is crazy. Never do that stuff. Uh, sleep is for the weak or the tired in this case, because I'm giving myself credit. But uh, I wanted you to see this. And like I said, I want you to be aware of these things while they're relevant. I don't like releasing like the, the seasonal is going on and you've got like three days, you know, watch the video and hopefully cash in. Same with the 4th of July sale. You could easily miss that. Like if you're out at the lake or you're taking off tomorrow and you're off Monday from work, you could totally have no idea that's happening. I hope I can inform as many as possible that, hey, something's going down. Take advantage of it. Be ready. Uh, the giveaway, again, I honestly know nothing. I just know that it should be announced. I'm as excited as you are. And uh, like I said, Viha's big deal is there. We've got a new seasonal. Check that out. Uh, I should, when we do the What's New in German tools, I will like walk you through that, show you where to find everything, all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, this thing is so cool. It's, uh, I cannot wait to use that thing. So uh, tomorrow when I'm awake, um, that's getting used. That's all I can tell you. So I've got some plans for some other things as well. But again, let me know. Again, this is not like some Photoshop hack. This is real world. It's actually in existence, fully functional ratchet. And it's a glorious combination. If anyone from Viha watches this, you need to do this. Uh, people are going to complain that the ratchet, you know, is not made in Germany. Just make one. I don't know what it would cost to tool up, but people will buy it. I promise you they will buy it, especially with this as the handle. <laughs> it's, uh, again, you might, you know, I know there's people that, oh, Vera makes the best handle, or, you know, PB Swiss, or uh, so-and-so fits my hand. I feel like this and trilobes are kind and philo as well. I feel like even if you prefer Vera or you prefer some other brand that's slightly different, ergonomically these are just pleasing it may not be your favorite but i think you're going to like it and uh, same thing like if you put that on the end of a ratchet it's gonna sell and uh it's something people are gonna pick up and be like, oh man i've been missing this my whole life all those times i get breaker bars you know like the three eighths ones and complain that the handle is like a too short and b not beefy enough 
this would remedy that and we may very well tackle that as well so uh, I kind of feel bad like you know tearing up a perfectly good screwdriver but I can fix this we can do things with this I can thread it and we can create all kinds of like spin in multi but I've got tons of ideas in my head I just need more time to execute them so you don't worry about that as, as time allows I will do incredibly stupid things that you might enjoy you rest assured of that but with that said we've probably rambled on long enough again this thing's great. I can't wait to use it. I will update you. Like if I break it, if the ratchet's junk, if the handle comes off, you know, we'll, like I said, this is the prototype. This is me testing things. Uh, we're going to go to town there. I will also say I just placed an order with Alpha. None of these came. Uh, I've got that in a box. That's something you'll probably be seeing soon. Also through the grapevine, I heard they might, just might, uh, be having some new stuff as well. So, uh, discount code Lone Star Mopart. I make nothing off of that. I used my own discount code when I placed the order, in fact. So, I make nothing off of it. You just save money. And uh, the gloves don't suck. They're awesome. Uh, when I. It's either the new. Probably the new stuff, because I forgot to bring my, like, leather impacts home. But uh, I'll bring those back. I have almost worn a hole in them now, but still haven't fully done it. So that, uh, the way I go through gloves, that's, that's very impressive. So I won't go on too much about that, but I always have that link down below for you. Uh, reason for ordering now was I wanted to get some to replace that. I also wanted some green ones and I uh, probably shouldn't have said that. I guess that's a spoiler, but also, uh, my nephew's working with me a lot more and I wanted to get him a uh, pair of gloves as well. So with that said, I think we've covered everything we need to for now. Uh, plans for this weekend, uh, sleep. Uh, at least tomorrow, uh, work on the truck. Uh, I don't really have to travel for fireworks. I live around a lot of crazy people, and uh, they put on a better show than most cities and municipalities, I'm not going to lie. So, uh, that is a perk. But, uh, yeah, hopefully maybe I can, like, land a giant breaker. If you have a recommendation for a breaker bar, I'm not going to use a three-foot breaker bar here at home. I could possibly get by with two-foot. Um throw that out there too uh, right now like the only thing i could go to i had emailed a supplier that sells mayhew i wanted to get the blue handle dominators i mean because if you're buying something you should just get the color you want in my opinion uh, it doesn't cost any extra in fact sometimes it's cheaper which makes no sense but uh, i never heard back uh, he, he did not respond he must be swamped or out of town i don't know it doesn't have a vacation reminder set but i didn't hear back so i kind of was banking on that and uh, now it's kind of like Harbor Freight's about the only place I can go get like a big breaker bar, so uh, I say breaker bar, I mean like pry bar, flat nose, preferably. So I've got to shimmy two very heavy, big mounted items. That's all I'm going to tell you. And uh, you'll, you'll see the rest in the Ram Revival. I should probably piece it together for you. So, <laughs> Matco versus Snap-on. Which one do you want to see first and why? What would you recommend? Uh, feel free to leave all those comments down there below. This is your chance to tell me like stuff I don't know. Uh, so if Matco has an awesome this or the Snap-on Talon pliers, get your you know vote of confidence. Uh, or if you're like, man, get that Matco ratchet before you get the Snap-on. Or if it's, oh, don't waste your money with the Matco ratchet. Even if you like the colors, you should buy the Snap-on, whatever. Tell me that stuff, and uh, we'll try to make it happen. Again, main thing, 5K or 10K, which one do you want to see first? I'm not going to lie, I really want to bring in the uh, blue and black ratchet. Maybe like even the black shafted one just because, hey, that uh, looks a little better in my opinion. So we might do that. I've gotten to a point, man. We have acquired a crud ton of ratchets. It's kind of nothing I ever intended to do. That just sort of, the screwdrivers was for testing. And we like got started and we had a huge arsenal. And it's like, well, we just as well try this one. Uh, the ratchets, that was never a plan. It's just like, oh, you know, that's a good buy. And oh, tool of the day. <laughs> like, hey, I'd like to try that thing. Uh, so that's cool. Also on that front, I don't know what's up with SK Tools. Uh, and this has nothing to do with them maybe selling out to Chinese company, Great Star, or whatever. This is like me as a customer, like, what the heck are you doing? I placed a decent order, I felt. Uh, you'll see the tool haul eventually, maybe. I don't know. The stuff hasn't come. I get two boxes. I assumed it's everything because it all would have fit in one of the boxes they sent me. Box one had like a ton of stuff. Box two had one, one wrench, one. I mean, we're box this big and it has something the size like a slimmer profile than the shaft of the screwdriver. Absolutely ridiculous. The items that I ironically needed the most, like really needed and planned to utilize immediately that weekend, 
did not come. And this is after they took like a, I don't know, like a two week hiatus and you don't get a packing slip. You don't get like shipping notification emails. Uh, you email and you're like, hey, you know, I just wondered, you know, where's my order? And uh, just a little rant there because I've talked to some other people that have like the same experience. And, uh, you know, they do some good stuff. They do some bad stuff. But like, this is just absurd. Uh, it's not like a deal where stuff was out of stock. You know, they have that printed on their website when it's out of stock. And I specifically didn't buy that because I wanted this one series of items really bad for something I needed to do where it would have been incredibly useful. So yeah, uh, that's a preview of some other things to come on the channel. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, now the good news is, you know, with the breaker bar being needed, I kind of have to do that before I would really want to have utilized this one item out of the series of items that just coming. But yeah, it's it's a mess. It's a total mess. So uh, that's why I like like simple companies, KC Tool, you know, Summit. They like tell me things like if it's out of stock. So I'm like, yeah, then you're probably not gonna see this a long time. And if it's in stock, it ships. And uh, I I still don't know. I emailed right back. The girl finally responded to me after everything had shipped and arrived. And I'm like, well, hey, you know, I didn't get these, you know, two items. Uh, any any updates? Never heard back. So I don't know what they're doing. But, uh, anywho, that's enough for now. I'm going to go edit this thing. I do hope you have yourself a fantastic weekend. If you are in America, or if you are an American abroad, I hope you have a fantastic Independence Day. Uh, again, it's, uh, I'm a bit of a history nerd, you know, so I enjoy that sort of stuff. And, uh, so that's what I'm going to say. So enjoy it, and uh, stay safe. Uh, don't do anything too crazy with fireworks, especially like if you're in some area that's really, really dry, which was us up until the flooding rains, which reminds me I need to pull my filter from the shop back and get a puddle out in front of my door because I found out the shop flooded when I came in tonight and stepped in the puddle. So, cool. Good times. I'm going to go do that, then I'm going inside, editing this, showering, uploading this with my incredibly slow internet, going to bed, and uh, waking up tomorrow to uh, hopefully do some cool stuff with the truck and the family. So stay tuned for that. Again, kind of got through it as quick as I could for you. Got you to see that guy. Again, I suck at being succinct. I've told you a million times. And that's why we do timestamps. So uh, more details on all the you know new stuff in German tools. The sales, we'll cover that in an upcoming video. Uh, but please, you know, feel free. Snap on our Matco, which one you want to see first. And, uh, you know, what would you recommend? So... With that said, I will leave it at that, and uh, let me know, what do you think of this? You know, doesn't have to be a VHA ratchet, this, if you love Snap-on, you know, Snap-on ratchet. If, if you like a Cobalt ratchet, Cobalt. Uh, if you've got, you know, like a bare metal Vera ratchet, and you want one of their big, you know, like chisel driver handles on it, picture that, but just the concept of it, right? As far as I know, this has never been done, it looks awesome, it should have been done, it should be done by VHA, in fact, and uh, hopefully they do it. Uh, they could just like, I'd be happy if they did it. I'd probably buy them. If they want to send some out so I can show them to you, you know, so be it. But <laughs> if they don't do it, I'm going to continue to make them because by gosh, it's a great handle for a ratchet in my opinion. So uh, with that said, and again, I want to articulate like a lot of the time, you know, I'm either breaking something free, putting leverage on it, or I'm just up here and the handle back here doesn't be very important because I'm just shimmying the ratchet head around. So. Uh, but man, it is super nice and it will be used tomorrow. So might be the last time you see it in that good of a condition My apologies if that's the case. I will update you from time to time on it But yeah, uh, if you love red and black, you know what to do covered everything. I got to quit around You got to realize I'm like I'm tired. I don't sound tired, but I'm I'm beat so I uh, did the best I can but uh have a great weekend, wherever you may be. Hopefully this helps you out, alerts you to some sales, kind of keeps you in touch with what's going on with the channel, gives you something to kind of enjoy here. And uh, sounds like we got some crazy folk out. <laughs> so, with that said, thanks for watching. Have yourself a fantastic weekend. LoneStarMopars.com is the website. You can find us Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all three at LoneStarMopars. With that said, I will catch you back here for more action from the show.